Hello heroes and welcome to Tabletop Idiots, a tabletop role playing game experience for all ages. Please enjoy as Michael, Matt, Evan, Zach, Megan, and Josh will try to survive whatever their DM Bailey will throw at them. Today these idiots will be thrust into this week's campaign, The Dark Secrets of Halcyon City. So strap in, relax, and enjoy. The story begins back at the hero crisis. You see, when the heroes first started being heroes and super started becoming the norm, everything was a lot different than it is right now. Move your elbow a little bit to the left. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay. Uh, when we started to notice that kids were getting superpowers like super strength or even inheriting super super intelligence or anything like that. Um, I didn't personally inherit any of them. I had to do everything on my own. Uh, you know that uh, device that Andrew here wears, the, the heckle device? I invented that. Oh, my Joe. uncle fixed that. Yeah, um, speaking of, he owes me a patent license for that. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that another time. Um, once we find him, that is. He, in 1974, there was, I'm assuming you all have learned about this in your history classes and about the whole superhero uprise and the villains wanting to take over and yada, 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 right? The boring stuff. Yeah, of yeah. course. True story is after this rebellion, a foundation under the government called ASR was formed. This group, the Agency of Super Retention, as they call themselves, were trying to master how superpowers came into the world and how to not have a revolt happen again. Thus, the hero licenses were formed and all of these laws and the job applications and the whole process of not having to deal with a superhero running rampant would work itself out. However, that's not what they really do. Victor over here is a ASR defector. I know oh, they I know. did that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that they did. Um, who in who who specifically still so working that out that. still still working out those details he just kind of showed up here in my office and i've known him for years uh so i uh, i'm gonna ask i just look at him like victor and just go like do you know who did this <laughs> blink once if we know him he blinks once I bet it's that mm, blind man. Okay. Blink twice if it has to do with the the witchy chick back there. He doesn't. He blinks once. Oh. Blink once if it has to do with my stuff. He blinks once. M Mason's visibly pissed off and he kind of, he like goes and like hits a wall. Like he is not mad. He's pissed off now. Hey, uh, try not to damage anything. I have a guy who's not supposed to be here that I have to keep under wraps. Sorry. Thank you. Anyway, he's a defector. And he came to me looking for a way out. I provided one. But... Good job. I provided one with a catch. Andrew, I'm terribly sorry. You have to find out this way. I am the reason that he brought your team together and that he was even a teacher at your student or at, to, to, to you all after school. And I, I, uh, I knew that you have a gift, Andrew, and I knew there had to be others like you. And I wanted to give you a world that was safe and away from the tyranny that's coming. 
So I put him in position so that way he would instruct you all and show you how to be true superheroes. Which, judging by how quickly you grabbed my neck, I think he did a relatively good job. I'm not going to lie. I think he did a relatively good. He's a good guy. He I'm wants... for a while. What's that? I've been doing it for a while. I, I know. I have your uh, dossier here. Um, see, when it comes to ASR, they know a little bit of everything about everybody. And he's not the only one who defected. Um, Miss, oh. Miss Winters? Uh-huh? Your uh, quote-unquote father is a very terrible man. I, I am aware of that. And I wanted to see him stopped. So... I am the original defector of ASR, which is why I have all of your dossier, which is why I know how each and every single one of you have come today um, and why you are seeking the truth because your lives have been ruined from something that a government that I was a part of got to control. Those hero licenses that they keep telling you to apply for their identification chips. What they do is they attach a neurological device that connects to your brain and allows you to be fully controlled by them whenever they want. Um, They're missing something, though. They're missing a tool that they're looking for that's going to allow them to control them all no matter what, completely remove their free will, erase their memories even but we haven't quite figured out what that tool is. Avery, your eyes are glowing uncontrollably by this point. And everybody does notice. This shit That's again. Just, like, going to pull my head she over. is like, absolutely uh, glowing today. Oh, Mason's kind of going to start getting mad at Avery. He's going to start like saying like, again, this, like, is this, oh, is this all because Don- of you? Donovan's Donovan's stepping in. Oh, he's ticked. Donovan's oh. pissed directly at Mason. Oh, so Donovan, are we, are we doing email. this? Are we doing this this episode? It's about to go down. I need you to speed this up. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, anyway, um, your Is monster... that tool me? Oh, this is what Avery's going to say. Just it's possible. Do you have any sort of memory manipulation power or anything like that? Yeah, but I can only do it individually. Then yes, I'm afraid you are. Uh, there's a knock at the door. It's a very like subtle, like quick, 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 tick, tick, tick. Knock Please. harder. <sighs> I'm knock sorry. Harder? I really need to see the doctor. Mickey, Wait, that's not God. It. That's not it. I swear to God. Mickey, oh, now's not the time. Oh, is that Mickey? Oh, no. He is actually, he's welcome. He knows Victor personally. He's actually, I invited him to come. What? Oh. oh. What? Don't oh, okay. you dare tell me. Don't you dare tell me. Every second I see you. Don't you dare tell me. Mickey, come on in. Uh, Mickey comes in and he goes and sees Victor and he goes, what happened to my dad? Oh, no. Oh, oh. Stop. Oh, yeah. Stop oh. it. I- this movie sucks. <laughs> 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 Everybody's got a dad but me. Yeah. Uh, sir. Oh, excuse oh, me. Sir, Robert. <laughs> Robert Patrick B. doesn't have a mom. <laughs> he, like, rushes over to Victor and he, like, he, he goes, he's like, I don't, I don't understand. Dr. Snyder, you just you just reconnected us a couple months ago. Why is he what happened? Um It's a little bit harder for me to explain to you, Mickey, than it is to the rest of them. But your dad's gonna be fine, I promise. Just I wanted you to know that he was here and that he was okay. Um You all know him? I'm assuming you go to the same school probably. 
Yeah, we're all really close. Oh, hey guys. Um, yeah, this is my dad. Um, could have mentioned that on the first day. I when you wheeled in Robert, I wasn't allowed to. Yeah. Um, we had to keep the fact that he's my dad a secret to keep him safe. Good point, but at the same time, just a room of us. Uh, again, not knowing, I was told nobody was allowed to know, and I didn't know what he was really doing in there. Um, I still don't really know anything right. about you guys, to be fair. Like, you all are just upperclassmen and classmate, and, um, yeah, I don't, I'm just trying to. You are our star lineman, Mickey. <laughs> He looks at Robert and he goes, Robert, don't feel like you're alone. Um, I was a foster kid for about 12 years uh, until I met the family I'm with now. Uh, but now that so I you understand, I do. Now that I've met my dad, I just want to be with him. Um, no matter that what. Really, Did you get uh, an inhaler? You're not wheezing as much. I'm just super hyper focusing and I'm trying not to think about how desperately I have to breathe right now. Cause I honestly got nowhere passes out. <laughs> uh, I thought, I thought his I was proud of him. Yeah. Um, I was proud of him. I thought, I thought he got an inhaler. He's straight up just out cold on the floor. He goes, I'll, he's fine. He's breathing. He's, <gasps> he's a good, hey, that, uh, that soft and Robert's heart though. So he's like, maybe I should have been nicer. Uh, he looks at. Okay, you couldn't have known Robert. Uh, yeah. <laughs> puts his arm around him. Avery, your eyes known. are still like illuminated. You're trying to cover it as best you can, but it is like there is a green light. Can I ever try and like just like try and leave? Just like try you and like, can. Like, you can okay. certainly give me a roll for it. You can do. It's about to uh, pop off. Ba 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 Oh boy. Um. What am I rolling? Just roll flat. We'll see what happens. Uh, D20 or D6? Uh, 2D6. Okay. Nine. Ooh. She uh, sneaks out and kind of goes unnoticed. Do we not notice the lack of green light in the room? <laughs> we didn't know. Yeah. You were like two was flashlights the attached the to her head, and we didn't notice. Color. <laughs> it's not. You just anymore. passed out, dog. You turned the That's fair. You know what? Um, Good we don't point. even yeah, notice just... when the sun goes. Give me a roll down. for Let's it. Let's be honest here. She leaves. You're all distracted by the fact that Mickey just passed out on the floor. Um, he looks at Andrew and he goes, um, "Did you get injected with something?" Yeah. Was it some crazy German doctor? Yeah, oddly resilient fella. I hate that guy. I hate that guy so much. Ah, he annoys me. Sorry. He just he puts the medical field to shame with the wild experiments that he does. So do you did you just work with all the people who attacked us? Pretty much. Um back Pretty when suspect, if you ask me. You were making fun of my friends. <laughs> I wasn't making he fun didn't of. Say they were friends, and I also was complimenting them. To be fair, uh, but yes, uh, I knew them all uh, back when I thought ASR was doing something for good. Um, now I know the truth, and I want to do everything in my power to stop it. Um, any information I have that might be able to help you, I'm more than willing to give you. By the way, uh, but if you would please just allow me to treat my nephew first. Do you know where any of the people are? I know where most of them are, actually. Especially if things are going like I'm hearing, I probably can give you exact location. I need a location of one person. And I will give it to you. Just please let me treat my nephew first. Okay. He just steps back. and. Uh, at so this should point, we be concerned about Mickey? He's still not up. <gasps> He's breathing. He's fine. He's breathing. Okay. That kid's more resilient than you think. Yeah, I've seen him play seen football. Him, yeah. Yeah. I've seen him truck a 200-pound linebacker. Um, as you all are thinking, you now suddenly start to realize there have been moments where 
Victor has been at football games and you thought it was for Andrew, but now that you're seeing it, you realize that he was actually there to watch Mickey play. Um, oh, I thought he cared about you, Andrew. <laughs> it's okay. Andrew's got his own parents, all right? Yeah. Speaking of... Let Mickey like, have this one. They like me at the bastard. moment. They like you at the moment. So, <laughs> Andrew, I need to ask you something. Yeah. Your monster gene has been removed. What? I can put it back. I, you remember back when we first started trying to remove it? uh, I took a copy of your monster gene so I could try and replicate the effect and see what would happen. Yeah. Um, I still have that copy. I can put the gene back in and give you a chance to be monster fight again. Um, uh, also, uh, Avery, yes. Um, you're going to be monster fight again, but it sounds like your family likes where you're at. And I want to ask you, cause you never got a choice in whether you would be this monster or not. Do you want to go back to being the untouchable? Or do you want to live a normal life? Well, you know, as much as I've enjoyed this time of being normal again, there's a lot of people I can help. Maybe my parents won't understand, but I have to help people if I can. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. All right. He uh, starts to prep the room for the procedure. Um, he then notices, where's Avery? Oh. Avery. <sighs> Again. Cutting over to where Avery is. Avery, you're wandering the halls of... Thank you for doing this, by the way. <laughs> Um, you are wandering the halls. Your eyes are glowing green. You're kind of stumbling as you like go from wall to wall. You immediately start to remember what you are. The tool. In a countless timelines, you are kidnapped from your father. You are raised by this man, Mr. Winters. In most timelines, you are in a lab for most of your life. You don't get to see the outside world or anything. And on Christmas Day, every timeline of the specific year, you always are at the specific lab. There's tests being done on you. He comes up to you with his eyes glowing green, paring into yours. You scream in pain as the minds of the world fall under Winter's command. And that he is in full control. And with that, you die and start again in a different timeline. You remember moment after moment after moment after moment. Avery, you are going to take your last Doom track. The end is here. As your eyes begin glowing brighter and brighter, you can hear the voices swirling as you know your time is about to come in this timeline and you're going to have to start the cycle all over again. When a hand grabs onto your shoulder, behind you is Mr. Winters. Hello, my darling daughter. Nice to see you in person. She's just gonna be shaking, like, just no, no response. She's just shaking and crying. So you finally connected the dots. Can't say I'm surprised you were raised by a brilliant mind after all. Oh, 
And that Sylvester character? I'll have you know he's doing just fine. Where, where is he? Would you like to see him? I'll take you to him. Yeah, where? I just want to see him one more time. Fantastic. He begins to usher you out of the hospital and into a Humvee. As you begin to drive away, Avery has officially been captured by Mr. Winters. By the time she has entered the vehicle and is driving away is when you all are noticing the fact that she is gone. Yes, Robert. The uh, nurse that's uh, out front is like, oh no, you all need to leave together. Does she notice Avery leave without no, she us? Does not. That is so unfortunate. Okay. Yes, Mason. Hate this nurse. Do, do we right? see, is there like a window that we could see out or like see anything? You're on the other side. Mm. Oh, okay. The only mm. thing you get is in your group chat with all of you together is a text from Avery. Avery, what does the text say? Oh, um, it's just going to be, it's going to say, I'm so sorry. So I'm going to immediately call her? I mean, yeah. The number you called cannot be reached. <laughs> <laughs> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> I mean, oh, honestly, this that's, the, that's the most human reaction. <laughs> Such a normal <laughs> situation. Yeah, we're not ending off that. Mm, oh, I uh, know. I already know how Mason's. What's Mason, it, Mason is thinking now. the worst. He's thinking she's gone full on. She wants to do this. She, he is not thinking, oh, she got captured. He's thinking he, she's doing this because she wants to join her father. Or save, like, her real dad. Something like that. He is pissed. Even if that's the case, to stop her, we're all going to have to work together. Preferably we're all now. in this with, with what? together. Two robots, a guy who can't fly that's pretty strong, and you that doesn't have powers right now? Doesn't have powers yet. Ah, we don't know if that's going to work. It's, it's did, the science did no of did probability. Either work or I'll die. Did no one catch the middle school recital reference that, that Robert just... <laughs> Middle school recital. You did not. One of the greatest movies of our time. You did Remember not. Uh, okay. That, that was you, the best one. Thank that you. Was amazing. Thank you. Um, <laughs> right. Okay. Well, okay. I'm assuming that means she's gone. Well, well, I don't think yeah. she's coming back with ice cream, if that's her hey, question. I'm, yeah, she's gone. Here's what I'm thinking. You guys go out and look for it. someone. Turn on location on their phone. I'll catch up with y'all as soon as I can. I, I I'm grabbing your uncle and I'm asking him where is because Mason's th- thought process is that wherever his uncle is is where they're going. You grab him a little a little tighter than than. Oh you yeah, no, him. no, for sure. And I just say, where is my uncle? I mean, he's been working with us. You don't have to be mean to him. Please don't kill him. Yeah, like, like we need him. I need him. Uh, yeah, no matter who him. Mason, no matter who Mason glares at, Donovan's just gonna step in the way. <laughs> Donovan, uh, Donovan is ready Donovan, for that. Donovan, we're, we're we're getting close. It to was something. preemptively getting and in I'm between really Donovan. wanting it to happen. <laughs> As um, this. I'm, as this is high tension, Gil, your Power Rangers phone, by the way. Um, yes. <laughs> boom, doo-doom, 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 wait, doo-doom, doo-doom, wait, 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 wait a second. It's, it's like, doo-doom, 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 we all turn. <laughs> 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 oh, <Hello. laughs> Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. Right. I'm not. I'm good, man. <laughs> um, I don't think I can do this anymore. It's like, oh, like come on, y'all believe in a fat man on Christmas Day? <laughs> uh, uh, yes, uh, Gil. Um, your decision. Are we invading Earth? 
can't do with those two problems at once. Can we hear it? <laughs> Wait, can can we just, like, speak the phone? <laughs> do you have it on speaker? <laughs> No. Okay, it's then no. Up to my ear. Okay. How then, high is the volume? Do you think this has speakerphone? Yes. Bailey, do you think this has speakerphone? I don't know. It's a Power Rangers phone, my guy. It could have a satellite <laughs> dish to Mars and probably teleport you there in two seconds if it wanted. It's probably it's straight very, to the brain, let's be honest. Yeah, here. probably. Oh, oh, a thousand percent, but he's still using it as a phone. Uh, <laughs> he's just like, please hold one second, guys. He just goes out to the hallway. <laughs> what? I can't put the ring on and he doesn't even need it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Just, just let me get through this, please. I can't take it. <laughs> Gil, you rush out to the hallway to answer your phone. It's it's just like it's just like any other random random person just taking an important call. Yeah, you so you were saying? <laughs> right. Uh your decision, should we invade Earth? We have the armies are we're orbiting out uh, right outside of Earth. Uh, we're ready. You give the word. We're in there. Uh, I'm going to say, please hold until further instruction. Uh, I may need your help more than invasion at this point. Sorry? What? Help? more than? I'll, no, we talked about this. It's, I, it's invade, I, conquer, completely destroy. I did, it, you, you, haven't, you haven't been here as long as I have. That we'll, we'll, have we talk this, about it next week. we'll have to run this we'll, up the chain of command. This is, put it directly on me. This is a judgment call. <laughs> just oh walks back in all calm. <laughs> Can we just have it that, that Bill definitely has the little clip thing that he puts oh, the absolutely. phone on? on oh, 100%. Is this <laughs> like a yeah. pager? Yes. It's just a, whole just a whole giant thing. box on yeah. his Oh my god. It's like it's right next to his, it's right next to where the, the mech is holstered. Like the mech is holstered on the side. I'm like, Gil, <laughs> the world is about to end. What could possibly have been that important? It I might I might have just saved the world for from a different threat. It's okay. Do, Don't worry about it. One second. Do you want to speak? Uh, I, what? It's classified. <laughs> it runs away. Oh. <laughs> I, Mind you. What? Hello? What the f***? <laughs> is he trying to work on a shower? What's this? Can I feel like a PG-13 movie? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the same Hello? dude. What do you mean you were until further notice? This doesn't make any sense. I I know it doesn't, but I might... I might like this plan, okay? He, <laughs> right before you hang up, he forces the projector function on your phone, and it's just this alien projector that's now being projected into the room. Gil, you have we, to give me an answer on this now. Am I still in the room or in the am I in You're the hallway? in the room. <laughs> I'm in the room. Turn around. That's fine. That's there are people what? right there. What I don't the care. <laughs> there won't be people there in a couple of hours if you say the word. Okay, first I'm of not all. Hurting. One second, guys. I've been yeah. something important. I'm going to say it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? My yeah. word is hold. <laughs> you want to hold the invasion. Ian, yes. hey, what the? F- what do you mean, the invasion? <laughs> Mason, say it with me. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of problems Gil, at once. Gil turns around again. Guys, shut up. <laughs> turns back. This is my boss. Don't get me you're, fired. <laughs> you're your boss? How old are you? I figured it was his walking. mom. <laughs> What is happening? I, I'm, sorry, I'm walking I'm with the, the uncle in my hands. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, could you just? And I think there's different issues going on right now. Maybe if I could you just be quiet. Gil gives what up and just mean? turns away. <laughs> I'm holding the invasion until further notice. There are other problems that might make the world uninhabitable for us in the first place. Well, what if we just destroy the world outright? No, because that, what if we wanted to colonize? Remember? I mean, there's oh. about. Eight other planets that we can colonize in this system alone. 
but not with the water and the resources that this place. We can has. make it work. We got a couple hundred years to make that work. True, but would we? Probably. Why wouldn't we do it now? <sighs> I will tell them hold until further notice. But about us helping you, that will have to remain foreseen. Okay. I'll ask. All right. The hologram ends. The phone call ends. The room goes back. It was just like. <gasps> well, now that that problem's solved, I guess. Don't I, worry. I'm, it's it's a, I don't, it's a long story. Is I don't have the what? energy for this. I Where feel is like he? It's something we should have time uh, for. Part, uh, you, pardon the expression, uh, but bigger fish to fry. This feels exactly. like a really big fish. I feel like Don't that's worry. the biggest fish. Like the fish is shaking the boat, my guy. I mean, He's a little, fish man. Meanwhile, let's just talk about this. Let's just talk about this. The literal key to the end of the world just went <laughs> rogue. What is it? The end that's of the world. That's what I'm talking about. What, what kind of risk are we looking at here? It could be the start of something uh, well, beautiful. It's probably not end of the world, but we're probably mindless zombies and end of the world type of. Well, it sounds like there's not going to be a world to end, depending on what Gil has to say about it. I Second am problem. doing what I can. Please hold. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, on some us. random highway in Halcyon City is Avery just cowering in her fear as her freaking <laughs> evil... A, kidnapper is just sitting across from her just literally not saying a word just clicking a pen just do I have a clickable pen here I don't think I do Josh what <laughs> what that's <laughs> a that's <laughs> What's wrong? It's not even close. <laughs> it's almost. Oh, Who God. Said That's a part of that. You got an axe. Where did you get that from? You guys wait, don't wait. have an axe on you? Yes. Bailey, end the session. End the session. All right, thanks you all for joining. Uh, we'll see you all next week. <laughs> So he's just there, just clicking the pen. And then we go back to this room, and it's just pure chaos. The longer I'm we sit in here, the farther away she gets. I will tell you. Tell me I, where. Can you put me down, please? I just drop them. Okay. I didn't need my shins. It's all right. They're probably going to Winter's Lab, which is directly underneath the Season Building, you know, the highest tower in Halcyon City. It's probably directly underneath there. Couldn't tell you what level it's on. Haven't seen it for myself, but that's where Winters conducts a lot of his business. Obviously, evil man, giant tower, kind of makes sense, right? Now, can I please do the procedure on my nephew? Yes. Andrew, go. Is this going to hurt? It might. I won't tell you it won't. Awesome. Donovan, I might need your assistance with this. Awesome. Hold him down. Hold me down. Yep. <laughs> How do you hold him down? <laughs> oh. Oh man. Yeah, I'll probably just gonna like get on top of him, hold him like elbows with my palms, and then both of his ankles with my legs. You're just don't over like top of him. <laughs> I really yeah, I don't like, like how close you are. Like, full on, I'm like, I, I've been through this. It's going to hurt. Uh, Robert, can I borrow you for a second? Uh, yeah. I just need you to bring me tools when I ask for them, okay? Uh, yeah. We're so, trusting. obviously, you get your. I'll run you through the basic tools. You got scalpel, right? Right? Mm-hmm. You got, mm-hmm. you got the... Scalpel? Yeah. Mm. Can you're I forgetting to the know there, Doc. Gal. No, oh. no, no, trust me, I'm not. I'm gonna die. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he looks over at it and it's just this like rounded piece of metal. Okay. Oh, gotcha. So there's it's that. that one, huh? There's a okay. drill. Okay, right? There's the drill, right? 
Here's here's the vial of the monster gene. This is very volatile and breakable. Okay, right? Awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, this is my own invention. I'm calling it the slinger. Um, and it just slinger? it looks like a giant like electrical box. I just I, I put my hand over Andrew's eyes. I'm I don't think he needs to see this. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, buddy. Good idea. <laughs> I'm just saying, having the cripple handle all this stuff is a great idea. I mean, you're just handing it to me, so I don't know. I don't see why it's Your hands still oh. work, Robert. Uh, right, anyway. Robert. And oh, drop okay. anything. The procedure begins. We're not going to go into details on the procedure. Uh, try and keep this a little, a little nice. It's just not pleasant. Um, yeah. We're going to cut over to Avery as you arrive uh, in the lab. As you were down in this lab, you were walking through dark halls, each flooded with different memories that you know, some from different lifetimes, some from this very lifetime. Uh, As you were walking by, he stops at a uh, jail cell, uh, and inside it is your father who is beaten, bloodied, handcuffed to the wall, on his knees, face down. He's almost unrecognizable. He's very famished, has not eaten well, and has just kind of been existing. You can see on the wall behind him is how many days he's been there as he's scratched it with his own finger to try and get it to work. He has these cuffs on his hands that are preventing him from using any of his powers. He doesn't even look up as you approach the cell. Dad? Don't be her. It's just an illusion. Don't be her. It's just an illusion. Don't be her. Dad, Dad, look at me. Avery. It's really you. It's, it's me. Why are you here? I had to be. No. No, you could have chosen to live your life. Free from this mess. There is no world where that's possible for me. Uh, Winters stands behind you. His eyes glowing green. Your eyes slowly begin to glow green as well. You can never win, Sylvester. (laughs) You know, she chose to see you on her own. What a caring daughter she is. He puts his hand on the back of your head and pushes you into the cell door. Too bad she's just a tool. You let go of my daughter right now. Or or what? Mr. Perry, you and I both know you can't do anything in that cell. And if you so much as try, I'll move on without this tool and I'll kill her right here and now. Isn't that right, Avery? He's just not gonna answer. Avery, don't listen to him. You can run. You can run far away. Running doesn't stop anything. You're a monster, Winters. You hear me? You're a monster! And you're the man in the cage. Come, Avery. Let's make our preparations for the final event, shall we? Right. As you begin to make your way towards the Grand Lab, there is a spot that is molded for you. As if it is predicted the exact size you would be right now. And it has wires and different things that are coming from it. 
You do not need to step in right away. Make yourself at home. You'll be here for the next few days. Oh, and try not to die this time. Right. He locks you in the room. Great. No, you have more I, said, I was going to say, I love it here. Um, as we cut over to our friends with the procedure, it's been very messy. Um, you all have seen bits of Andrew you never thought you'd see. The doctor is apologizing the entire time. I'm like, okay, I'm ready to stop. I'm ready okay, to stop. Hold, on, hold on, just one more, one more, one more, one more tweak and we'll be good. Okay, I promise we'll be done after this. One more. Hold tight, hold tight, buddy. And he, he puts the genome back in and a burst of energy comes from Andrew, sending everybody in the room flying. I go up. You go straight <laughs> up into the ceiling. Go splats on the wall. Yep. Splat on the wall. Mason, like a little, like... Mason goes through the wall. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Robert, you actually don't move. You're locked down on the ground. You're actually doing Oh, okay. he had his brakes on. He wasn't rolling anywhere. Brakes. <laughs> 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 he falls over. <laughs> he he walk falls in. backwards. <laughs> I walk back in through the hole and I just go like, whoever... No one warned us. I didn't know that was going to happen, to be fair. Um, that didn't happen. Andrew. I, that didn't happen with me. I think I'm going to need a new blanket. There's Andrew all over it. Andrew. Yeah. <sighs> I need you to roll 2d6 plus freak with advantage. Tell me your highest roll. Well, it can't get much better than that. Oh? It's two sixes plus three, which is would be 15. I don't Boy. Oh boy! <laughs> oh, oh. oh boy! <laughs> oh, Andrew, my good sir, we all die. <laughs> you run off the middle of the city, flatten the entire thing, game <laughs> over. You level the entire city of Halcyon. It is the the world ended in a different way. The aliens the come ending. in and invade. Uh, <laughs> thank you all for listening. <laughs> Andrew, see you on the next episode. <laughs> Andrew, you sit up, not feeling any pain at all. You look down at the hole in your chest as it stitches itself together, completely healing it. It's you feel so much stronger than you ever have, but you have not transformed into the untouchable. Well, this is maybe better. Okay. I have an idea. Mason, Donovan. Yes. Hit him. Okay. <laughs> hit him. <laughs> As I need all three of you, <clears throat> hear me on this. Uh. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Donovan and Mason. He was trying to peel himself off the wall. By yeah, the you're still doing that. Donovan <laughs> and Mason. 2d6 plus uh, plus danger. Okay. Okay. Andrew. Wait, wait, wait sorry. One more time. 2d6. <clears throat> sorry. 2d6 uh-huh. plus danger. Okay. okay no good. advantage for either of you. Andrew. Okay. okay. 1d20 with advantage. <laughs> oh. Okay. I got 10. Okay. Are we these adding our scores? Or? <laughs> yes. I'm just saying these, these dice are doing really fucking good tonight. 10. Uh, ah! I got 15. Fantastic. It's pretty good. Now what you don't realize is I'm rolling for the untouchable. Oh, <clears throat> oh, <God. laughs> oh, as both of you all go to throw your punches towards him, you do 
both of you just kind of decide to do about like 75 strength. So you're okay. just like, all right, here we go. You both go to punch him. He grabs your fists, looks up at you, and transforms into the untouchable with a kick. He is the same size as Andrew, but his muscles are ripped and his skin is a different color. This form is called the agility form of the untouchable. Andrew, you're going to oh, want to put this in your, into your uh, chart there. You have a different form now. You can choose whether you want to be the defensive form, which is the one that you were for the past, for the entire season, right? Or you can choose the agile form, which doesn't hit as hard, but reacts 10 times quicker. Yes, Robert. Can we call the agile form the can't touch this? Stop. Stop. <laughs> the hammer time is better. Come on. Yeah, Not MC, MC Mallet. Get out of here. Not MC Mallet. <laughs> MC Mallet. <laughs> MC Mallet. <laughs> hey, you're killing me. Andrew, you can choose when to change into these weak. forms at will. It does not take an action. It does not take a move. It is whenever you want to be whichever form, no. you can choose. And you can also now go back to your normal human form whenever you want. Wow. Nice. I think it worked. I think it worked a little too good. How do you feel? I'm going to transition between the three. Just like big, little one again, normal. It feels pretty good. You're still holding both of their fists, by the way, when you do that. <laughs> Incredible. This will do. He has. <laughs> I want to. I want to like transition from a fist to just grab Andrew's hand. Welcome back. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Um, right. So obviously, you have some villains some to catch. <laughs> I can't do anything for you. Without damaging you more, I'm afraid. <laughs> That's what they all say. Doesn't have a lot less left to damage. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know what I don't know what's all wired in there. I could pull something and I'm suddenly shut down his entire spine. Like I don't know, man. Yeah, you could. Oh, um, <laughs> I have something for you, Donovan. Actually, I was hoping that you all would come. Uh, I have something for you here, just in case you want it for later. It, not for right now, but for later. He opens up. He goes, "All right, who stole my files?" <laughs> Sorry. I like filing cabinets. <laughs> no. No. Someone has the passion. Someone actually does have them. Oh, really? Okay. I was making a joke, but okay. <laughs> I think it's the one with the guilty face. It What? It's just I wanted to I wanted yeah. to see what was in mine. I mean, you can keep yours. I just, I need the rest of them if, if, if that's okay. I'll be enough kleptomaniac not in there. I put <laughs> it, mine it probably back is in my now. pocket. I put mine it's, back in my pocket. It's going to be put in there. Uh, I put Avery's back in my pocket. He, he's like, I, I need all of them. She's my cousin. Not by blood. How do not you know? Because I read the file. I wrote the file, you idiot. I just give him back. <laughs> he I give him back. He takes the files. He opens up. Uh, Donovan's and he goes um, I have two things for you actually the one is a set of dog tags that belong to your father um, we found this in the wreckage and they wanted to throw it away and I said I wanted to keep them because you never know I might get a chance to meet a son it's only right that you have these And grabs them looks looks at the name is it on a necklace yeah it's already on a, a necklace and everything and he's just gonna put it on tuck it into his sweatshirt um and the other thing this one's a little bit this one's a little bit weirder so bear with me on this one um he pulls out a vial he goes, this is a cure.
Will it all go back? It'll all go back. It'll be like it never happened. Before or after? That's up to you. Your choice. Donovan takes the vial, slips it into his uh, hoodie pocket. Think about it. I would expect nothing less. I'm sorry for what they did to you, by the way. Yeah, well, our Rick's going to get his. Give him one for me, too. Oh, don't worry. He can't do anything after I'm done with him. That's all I ask. Victor is still over in the corner, just kind of like seething as he looks down at, at Mickey. Just... Can I knock him out? Sure. <laughs> Can Donovan just? Yeah, you... <laughs> oh, so can't Victor fix his lungs? Do you say this out loud? By the way, I do. Well, it's kind of tricky. They shot him with something. Oh, and um, he also was taken up into space, which caused a lot of his, you know, normal functions to not work. So with his, his brain not being able to get enough oxygen, he can't muster the energy now to heal himself. So I have to perform emergency surgery. And I'm hoping that it heals and it patches. Thank you for knocking him out, by the way. I'm sure he's appreciative of that. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, Irreversible maybe, maybe brain passed. damage and such, you know. Right, Robert. I have I have an idea for something. If you're willing, if you said you wanted something, I'm willing to try something. <laughs> if you'll let me. Uh, I'm open to it. What do what, what, what you think? Stand up for me, Robert. <laughs> Stands up. He takes the electric device that he had earlier for Andrew's procedure and he goes, now if I just, in theory, attach this wire here and attach this wire here, you see Robert's legs give out for a second. He goes, oh, wrong wire, wrong wire. Uh, oh, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. I put it back. Uh, and if I attach this here and I split this, Okay, and then he makes it look nice and clean, and he goes, Robert, um, he like holds out a tray. He goes, try and see if you can uh, shoot this. Shoot it? From my legs? From your legs. Um, I don't know. I, uh, and he just kind of like thrusts at me. Oh. <laughs> the moment you do that, missiles come out of your thighs and explode the the tray in front of him. Perfect. Oh, you have awesome. leg missiles. Leg missiles. And none of the other nurses notice that there's a hole in the wall, the explosion. This. I'm trying my best. Why are you talking about a hole in the wall? I just got leg missiles. Um, anybody else want anything while you have a doctor here? Y yes, yes, Gil. Could could you unlock something for me? Maybe, Gil. I, I honestly didn't have any idea. I just good enough. I don't think I would be able to do anything for you anyway. I don't know how your biology works at all. I'd love to study it later if you'll let me. Daily. <laughs> Gil, Gil just wants a copy of. Uh, you Rudolph want something Rudolph. unlocked, Mason? Yeah. Um, c come here really quick. I'm going to tell him a little bit more in private because I don't think no one else knows about this part. <laughs> he he leans in. So I'm not strong enough right now. But the way my legacy works is I get stronger as I age and it drains from my father. Mm -hmm. Can I unlock what I'm missing right now? 
If I do that, then it might pull that from your father. It's true, but at this point, I'm the only one that's able to go up against my, my uncle. Even if it's just half, I need something. I have, last, I have last an time idea. I, You're not going to like it, but I have an idea. What's the idea? Do you just say yes or no? Yes. Donovan, hold him down. All right. <laughs> I just kind of go like this and just go, like, go for it. Come on. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna um, hold him from the back. <laughs> like, hold his, like, elbow. You, I would suggest him. holding him like this. Okay. All right. Then I'll do that. Uh, Robert. Yeah. Place your foot on his chest, please. Ooh, happily. And um send an electrical discharge to stop his heart. Alright, everybody, heads back except out of it. You're kinda stuck here, so just bear with me. Wait, hold on, what is this gonna do to me? You're a natural <laughs> conductor, actually. <laughs> Wait, well, that doesn't do that make again. you feel better. <laughs> can you do that again? <laughs> can you do that again, Josh? The whole fire. <laughs> As Thank Robert you. basically defibrillates, because um, I'm not going to say that word correctly. I'm not even about to try. Um, <laughs> hit Mason's heart. Mason's heart stops. Okay, now wait, wait. He's technically dead. Technically dead. Wait. I win. I Do it again. I win the Do it again. Uh, clear. Okay, no, that didn't work. Do it again. Quickly. Do it again. Quickly. Let's commit a murder. Oh God. Okay, he's alive. Okay, he's awake. Donovan, you can let go. I am the best. He was so frazzled. Your like hair is like. <laughs> Yeah, I put a little extra. Doesn't feel good. In the last. Oh lord. Okay. Um, now, Mason, I just need, I have been put through the ringer. Oh. I need to just look at your head for a minute. Okay. And he looks at uh, Mason's head. Mason, you now your instead of your hair being it's, it's black before, right? Yeah. It's now like salt and pepper. There is gray and mm. black in it. Oh. yeah. Oh my word, that worked. I can't believe that actually worked. Uh, I need to write this theory down. I need uh, So, basically, um I just aged your soul. What? Which means you're going to live your normal life, but you get all of this, the 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 weird things of being an adult like now. You might notice some back pain by the way. Um it just comes with the territory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Does anybody else need a box? Mason's just kind of like looking at his hands and like, <laughs> oh, it, it like to, to everyone else it's like normal, but for him it's like, like he, he's seeing it wavy. Yeah, it's like hi, <laughs> uh, um, Donovan. Do you do you really do you want to be unlocked too? I don't know what it would do for you. I was going to ask you, can you juice me up? Oh, okay. Yeah, but you might not uh, like it. It's already been done once. I can do it again. All right. I'm going to need an IV set up for you then. Yeah. The girl raises his hand. Did you need me to hold him this time? <laughs> I'm actually going to need you to do something else for me, Gil. His eyes glass over. Lime um, on him. <laughs> oh, jeez. I need, I need you to keep him staring at you for a very long time. No, you can't do this to me. I told you you're not going to like it. You can't do this I, to me. There's is the only way. I can't do it. I will accept Donovan, this responsibility. Just, just, just try not to focus on the smell, man. It's not the smell I'm worried about. I'm 
Unfortunately, I've gotten used to it. <laughs> that's that's really sad. We sit next to each other in every class. This is the short now montage. I why your room stinks. <laughs> A montage of us in class. <laughs> and you know, just, it's always like just every single time he's him. looked over at you. Jesus. Oh my god. Listen, it's the only if you look at it, it it won't work. Fine. Alright. This is gonna be more painful than the first time. I fully believe it. I know. I'm it'll be quicker though. I promise you that. Better. He starts the, the IVs and he gets ready to do the blood transfusion. And he looks over at Gil and he goes, Alright, Gil, you ready? I've always been ready. <laughs> his, his true calling. Exposed. I hate this <laughs> so much. It's stu- a stupid calm. <laughs> he looks the most normal he's ever looked. <laughs> All right. On whenever you're ready, Doc. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> The blood transfusion begins, and what he's basically doing is he's pulling your blood into a device, reforming it, reshaping it, and putting it back in. This goes on for only a minute, but my word, does it feel like three hours? Oh, Lord. You see, your te- yeah. <laughs> you see tears trickling down both of our faces <laughs> <laughs> for different reasons. Donovan is in a constant state of just screaming <laughs> in terror <laughs> for an entire minute. Andrew, get ready to pull him away. Okay. And now, pull him away now. Pull him away now. Right. <laughs> Yank him. I have seen God. <laughs> I actually saw God. Trust me, you haven't seen him yet. Worse. Uh, we'll compare notes. He's a ginger. <laughs> We've seen God. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, Bailey, what happens to me? <laughs> uh, all right, Donovan. Um, I'm going to regret saying this, but it's only fair. Hit me. I can't do that. Can I hit Mason? Sure. <laughs> yes. I don't know if it'll hurt. <laughs> hit him. So, I just turn and swing immediately. There's no hesitation. Just immediately going no. to block him. None. <laughs> like Mason's invincible. He'll be fine. You hit Mason. And it hits like a delay effect. So as you hit him, he doesn't feel it right away. He goes, to Mason, this feels like this is the weakest fight he's ever felt. And then moments later, boom! And a little sonic explosion happens where it connected, sending Mason into a somersault back through the wall he fell through earlier. Mason gets back up and just says, that made me dizzy. I'll take it. That's, no, no, no. That, like, really. Okay. Oh, he's gonna puke. <laughs> All right. Um, it's in a hospital, at least, so it's not that bad. Um, so DM to, to Donovan, your delay punch uh-huh. is basically... If you want to do a supersized punch, but catch somebody off guard. So you're able to completely distract them with a weak hit and then send them flying with something massive. Mm -hmm. Uh, Your normal hits do just a little bit more on the on the crazy scale, by the way. Uh, So you're actually going to get plus one to freak. Pog. Mason gets plus one to freak as well. Sorry. (laughs) Robert gets plus one to danger. And our boy, Andrew. (laughs) He gets plus one to everything. He gets a plus two to everything. Oh Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. He got a little bit of the, 
The Things crazy. top out at three, correct? Um, yes. Oh. oh, that's what I thought. If you're in oh. your defense form, there are going to be more than your agility form. We'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. Nope. Um. <clears throat> all right. So, um, I guess that's it. Go and save the world. I already did a few minutes ago. Sounds good. <laughs> Um, Save it again. Kill. I'm, I'm going to talk to you. And we're not done with that. You just put it on hold. It was either that. It was either uh, later. You're going to talk to who? He, okay. He goes to open the door Game to plan. let you all out, by the way, just so you, like, you can all start moving. And in the doorway stands a few people. The linebacker is there. Uh, who the, why is there a gym yes. teacher here? No, no, it's okay. <laughs> oh, hey, we don't know him. We yeah, don't you know have him. no I'm idea. Like, Coach, only, only one person. Uh, Coach, it's good to see, to see you. Him. He doesn't say anything. Uh, to his, like, to the other side, so there's a guy in the middle, there's the linebacker. To the other side is uh, Heather. This. And in between them both, in full superhero uniform, is Mason's dad, Walter Grant. Oh, oh um, Mason hugs him. Mason hugs him. A uh, question to the end. Yes. Uh, is this old man now? Is he, is he old now? He doesn't really look any different. Okay. <laughs> oh, I hug him. You hug him. Yeah. Um, you're so you're not paying attention then. Everybody else, give me a two d six flat roll, please. Cool. Oh no. Hopefully this goes better than the last time. <sighs> this was okay. a mistake. Below us. Uh, below a six. Don't tell me. Oh. Good then. Got a seven. Okay. Seven. What'd you get, Robert? 11. Woo! Uh, Gil, I'm assuming you got below that. All right, cool. Good talk. Um, Good talk, Donovan. Uh, Andrew and... I never noticed things. So excited. Andrew and Robert noticed that all of their eyes are glowing green, just as Avery's were. Oh. Oh. Um, Walter Grant hugs his son and continues to squeeze his son until Mason, it is no, your dad. no longer comfortable until Mason he, where you came from he pulls Mason back <laughs> Mason you look into his eyes see the glowing green as your dad pulls his fist back and slams it into your face and that is is where we're going to end today's session, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. We are, we are at the climax of the story. It can't get much more intense than this. So let's see what happens yep. with Avery, Mason, Donovan, Robert, Gill, and Andrew in the next episode of Masks: A New Generation. Bye. 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 Have a wonderful time.